Should you pull on the Zhongli weapon banner? It is the banner coming up tomorrow in the 1.5 update and it's going to be releasing alongside the Zhongli rerun banner. So I'm going to call it a Zhongli weapon banner, even though it has no main weapon for Zhongli, which is... We're going to get into that because it makes no sense. So yeah, we're going to talk about that banner and why I'm a bit concerned for it and why it's a bit bit of a different one. So if you do enjoy today's video and you want to support me, please feel free to sub because only 4.6% of watch reviews are subscribed. And if you're new or returning to the channel, we do daily games like guys, news, discussions, streams, gameplay and more. So if you want to help me do YouTube full time, please feel free to leave me with a sub. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna put a picture of the banner on the screen. If not, I mean, hey, it's on the gameplay that I'm, that I'm showing right now, but we have the Summit Shaper, that, that that's Albedo Sword, uh, Mahoyo. Memory of Dust, interesting. Lithic Spear, Lithic Claymore, Eye of Perception, the Flute, and the Sacrificial Bow. I mean, I mean, it's an interesting lineup of uh, weapons here. So we'll get to them, okay? So, oh, I need to look. So we have the Summit Shaper. It is a weapon that gives you attack percent. It has a very very decent base attack of 46 at level one. And it increases your shield strength by 20%, so I mean, good if you've got a character that shields away, that, uh, that character's albedo. But hey, I mean, it increases your attack if you score hits by 4%, and it stacks up to 5 stacks. So, yeah, however, while you're protected by a shield, your attack increase effect is increased by 100%, so it's mainly meant for characters that can apply shields, or who or can easily be shielded. So, I mean, hey, if you've got a Zong Li, I mean, I guess Summit Shaper could be okay for you. You're not going to get much on the shield strength, but you'll be, get, you'll be getting enough from the attack percent for it to uh, balance itself out, I believe. So hey, if you got, if you want to really, really want to get that summit shape, that's probably one of the rarest weapons in the game because nobody probably pulled for it when it came out. Because feel free to go for it now. The other weapon is Memory of Dust. Same effect as the first one. Again, attack percent increases your shield strength, increases your attack while protected by shields. You, you get extra attack now. Hey, I mean, it could be okay on Yan Fei because think about it. If you're pulling for Yan Fei, you're pulling on the Zong Li banner. If you get a Zong Li, and you pull Memory of Dust as well, then Memory of Dust could be okay on Yan Fei just for that. However, I believe better weapons are out there like Lost Press of the Sacred Winds or Skyward Atlas. I feel like they're both much better weapons than Memory of Dust. That and also Lost Press has crit rate. Skyward Atlas has a higher attack, like a higher base attack but gives you less attack percent, so I mean, personally I prefer those two, but hey, I mean, if you're pulling on the weapon band, you've got Memory of Dust, I mean, you could use it on Yan Fei, it'll be alright, but that that's my main takeaway on it, because, I mean, wh why is there no pole arm on the banner? Because it makes sense if there was a pole arm, because, well, every banner up to this point has had the, like, the main race of character and their signature weapons, for example, Ganyu with Amos Bow, Zhao with Primordial Jaywing Spear, uh, Hu Tao with Staff of Homer, we had Venti with the new Elegy for the end, with Child with the with the Skyward Harp, and then now we got Zong Li with the Summit Shaper and Memory of Dust. I mean, they're both in the same weapon set as as the Vorsex Vanquisher, but I mean, it's a bit of a weird one that they've done that. I, I don't know why they just didn't put Zong Li's weapon on it, but hey, we do have a spear, and we'll get into that now. So, there is actually the Lithic Pole Arm and the Lithic Blade on the, on the uh, banner, so... They're both interesting weapons in their own right. It, it, it's kind of based around what kind of team you want to build. So, if you've got a team of four leeway characters, which most of my characters that I play with in Genshin are leeway characters, because I, I leeway is my favourite region, so I, I naturally, I don't know, just happen to love all the characters on the leeway, so I just build them all, I guess. But the Lithic Spear and the Lithic um, Sword, they, you get like extra attack percent for every leeway character in your party, and at high refinements, you, you do get a massive damage increase, but. Even at refinement rank 1, you do get some very, very decent numbers from having a Lithic weapon. So, of course, the Lithic Spear, you could use it on Zong Li and get attack. I mean, personally, I mean, like, Zong Li builds HP percent for a lot of his stuff, so... Attack percent... It's good if you want to run Zong Li as a damage dealer. I mean, you can. You can safely build him as a damage dealer because, hey, you got a shield. You're not going to die anytime soon because his shield is so, like, strong that... He won't be able to take any damage, so you can build him as a very, very safe damage dealer and run the Lithic Spear on him if, if you want to do a bit of damage. And also, Zongli is a leeway character, and if you run four leeway characters in total, you get a 28% damage increase at five rank one, I believe. So, yeah, I mean, you, you could get away with that. Same with the, same with the uh, Claymore. The Claymore is also a good option 
for anyone from Leeway. I mean, personally, I'd run up my Bado because, hey, I mean, I mean, I run full Leeway teams anyway, so putting a that claim on my Bado, it will make her like really, really strong. So, hey, I mean, I might, I might pull for a Lithic weapon, but I'm not sure. I've never pulled on the weapon banner before because I don't, I just don't think they're worth it. But let's get into the rest of the weapons. So you got Eye Perception. Hey, it's okay. It's okay at best. There's better weapons out there like the Black Cliff. You could get the Battle Pass weapon to Solar Pole. You could get literally anything else. But hey, I mean, if you've got an Eye Perception, it's okay. You know, you, 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 you can safely use it. But, like, a lot of other weapons are just direct upgrades of that. So if you need, like, a, a safe-ish Eye Perception, you know, it hasn't got a high base attack. So keep that in mind. You can get away with using that, and it'll be, it'll be it'll do you okay for a while. Next up is the flute. I mean, the flute. I don't really know anyone that the flute's good on. You could use it on a Jean. You could use it on Kaching. You could use it on Chi Chi if you don't have anything else. So if you want, if you want attack percent sword for your characters, I mean, you, it could be useful. But last but not least is a sacrificial bow, and it's probably one of the better must pulls on this banner. Like if you if you really really want to use Diana a lot, which. Hey, if you're pulling on the Zhongli banner, you're going to get a Diona because she's race up. If you've got a Diona and you really, really like using that Diona, you could always pull for the Sacrificial Bow because it's one of her best slot weapons. What it does is it, because uh, obviously her, she gets a shield from using her Icy Paws, obviously if, if it hits an enemy, that will reset the cooldown. And the cooldown for Icy Paws is pretty decently length, so you can always like get a second shield up for free just by having the uh, sacrificial bow on your Diana because you, you can use it twice. So yes, yeah, I'd say the best things to pull on this banner are the Lithic weapons, the sacrificial bow, and hey if you like the five stars, they're, they're decent options so I'd say you know you may, maybe go for them if you really really want that want those weapons. But yeah let me know down below, are you guys, I, are any of you guys going to pull on the weapon banner? I've never personally pulled on the weapon banner, I might this time, I don't know but let me know down below. Like, personally, I think the banner is somewhat worth it, like, on the four-star department. I mean, this, the lineup is decent, so... Personally, I might go for some of it, but... Let me know down below. Do you guys, like, think it was, think it's good? Like, do you want these weapons? What, what would you rather see on this banner? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm happy to hear. Like, I really want to know what you guys think about it, so... Let me know. But thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I'll be streaming tomorrow, because tomorrow's my birthday. Tomorrow... The update's coming up my birthday. Best birthday gift ever, my Hoyo. Thank you, love you guys. But we're going to be pulling on the Zhongli banner on my birthday. We're going to open the uh, like the in-game cake. That'll probably bless us. And we're going to be pulling on the banner. Hopefully we'll get a Zhongli. It's a 50-50. I'm, I'm close to Pissy, so we will, we will definitely get to Pissy, but we don't know what we're going to get. If not, we'll pull for a Yanfei, hopefully, as well. So, yeah, thank you everyone for watching today's video. I hope you have a lovely day, wherever you are. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another video really, really soon. So yeah, have a good one, everyone.